Hello, my name is Bob Gardner with Banner Engineering. This is a short video showing how to connect the Q45 wireless sensor to the Dash Q gateway. The Dash Q gateway is the easiest to use because it has six outputs that are automatically mapped to up to six Q45 sensors. This gateway has been pre-wired with digital out one right here connected to the LED on the top of it so that this LED will indicate the state of that output. Once you have the outputs wired, power up the gateway using 10 to 30 volts DC. Here we're using a DBQ5 demo box. Once the gateway is powered up, the next step is to enter binding mode by simply triple clicking button 2. Once you enter binding mode, the LCD will say binding and the node address, here it says node address 1. So the node address 1 will be sent to the sensor when the sensor enters binding mode. Okay, the first step with the sensor is to hold the button for 5 seconds. which turns the sensor on and now you'll notice the yellow LED shows when there's a target in front of the sensor and the red LED shows that uh, it's not connected to a gateway yet that shows the RF link. To bind the sensor triple click the button and you'll see the LEDs blink showing that the binding process is complete. Now if I had more than one sensor at this point I would set the address to 2 for the second sensor and triple click the button on the second sensor. But because I only have one sensor we're done and I'll double click this button to exit the binding mode on the gateway. One last important point when you're using wireless it's important to write on the sensor the node address. If you have more than one wireless sensor, you'll get them mixed up if you don't write the node address on the sensor. So there you have it, we're done. The sensor is wirelessly controlling the output of the gateway. It's that easy.